Hello, this is Michelle Knight and welcome to your June monthly. It's a great month full of potential. Yes, we have Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto and at the end of the month, Mars going retrograde. But it kicks off with Venus trine Jupiter and Venus trine Neptune, a grand water trine which plunges us into our emotions, into love, into sensitivity, compassion and deep, deep connection. Venus is entering Leo, giving us all a love boost and Neptune and Mars are going retrograde, joining Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto. It's time to get into the time travel machine and see where we went wrong and how we can cure our past. Here's your monthly astrology. Scorpio, this month has oh, so many opportunities for you to be the wild maverick, to be the free spirit, to do all the things that you haven't maybe done for a while. You're coming out of your cave. You're coming out of a, a space of being inward. You know, Scorpios are incredible uh, uh, because they feel everything. You know, it may not show it on the surface, but everything is going on just beneath the surface. And, and sometimes you need to escape the world or, or go into your own space to not deal with all the pain that you see in the world, frankly, or, or all the all the things you see that are unethical. It really bothers your soul. But this month, you're able to come back out into the world and get excited about life. And you want to explore again. And you want to express your unique soul. And you're also helping other people to express their unique soul. We have a lovely trine between Venus and Jupiter. Jupiter's in your sign which is generally giving you the feeling this year that you want to expand, grow and making you luckier than usual. And um, with Venus trying Jupiter, you're feeling positive about your personal relationships. But on top of that, you want to push the boundaries. You might want to study. You might want to travel with a lover or you might find a lover that, that is encouraging you to do these things or sharing these things with you. With Venus trying Neptune, you're having very deep and intense emotional feelings for friends for lovers for life you want to just do things differently and you want to be happy and you want to laugh and fingers crossed there's lots of opportunities for you to do that this june okay the sun is conjunct mercury making you just as intense if not a little bit more intense than usual as you want to plunge in to the souls of the people that you talk to be a little bit cautious because venus is opposing pluto your ruler on the sixth so you may want, you're willing to say anything to get someone to come on an adventure with you or somebody else may be willing to say anything to you to get you to do what they want. And it's all very intoxicating, but, you know, make sure that you, you know exactly what's going on. And that's because Mercury is also square Neptune. There's a lot of unusual boundaries. Mercury's in your primal zone. Neptune's in your creative soulmate zone. You know, you want pleasure and you want to experience depth. And it may be that there's, you know, everybody's not being entirely straightforward. Anyway, Mercury shifts signs on the 12th and again is going into your adventure, learning and just open energy zone. You're kind of fiery and brave and you want to explore. The new moon is in your primal zone. You're going through a cycle of shedding the past, shedding your fears shedding issues to do with powerlessness. Yes, you're thinking about issues to do with life, death, rebirth and transformation. There may be something cycle that you're going through at the moment that may involve grief or loss or issues to do with power or sexuality, but you're able to move on to the next level of that experience with this new moon. With Mercury sextile Uranus, there may be some unexpected support coming your way or a conversation that changed things. Venus is going into your career and reputation zone on the 13th. You're falling in love with what you do or you're willing to find a job that, that you feel happier in. But you have the energy to do that. Even if you're in a job that you're not happy in, you are very people are finding you much more likable. Not that you weren't likable in the first place, but you know, if there's been any kind of issues, it's you can kind of charm your way through. And other people are more drawn to you. In fact, there could even be somebody drawn to you that that um, finds you very attractive. Oh, I'm ignoring that. So there's a part of you that is 
kind of stepping into a new space. You, you're adventuring, but you're also thinking about what you want to do when it comes to your life and what you're committing to. And actually, when we have the full moon on the 28th, it's conjunct Saturn, which most people or some people can find that a bit draining because Saturn's like, right, you have to be serious. Right, I'm putting you down to earth. Um, but for you, you're going to have a serious conversation about what it is you want to do and where you want to go. And, and this serious conversation, although at the time may feel a bit heavy, should, fingers crossed, liberate you in some way. But before that, we've got Neptune going retrograde. Now, that's not a bad thing because Neptune retrograde is, is actually could be seen as quite positive. And for you, it's in an amazing place. It's to do with your creativity and your, your soulmates and children, all things like that, and having fun. So Neptune is going to show you how to make your idea of what fun is into a reality, fingers crossed, and you're able to express yourself. Or perhaps there was something that you really wanted to create in the past, but you didn't get down to doing it. And now Neptune retrograde grounds you to make that creative dream a reality. Other big news this month on the 19th is Mercury is trying Jupiter. That is fabulous. And as Jupiter is in your sign, it's triply fabulous. Because Mercury trying Jupiter allows you to connect uh, and to push your stuff out there. And as I say, you're much bolder than usual and people are listening to you. Sun is also entering your adventure zone. There is no escaping eccentricity, exploration, study and removing and, and, and leaping over boundaries. OK, Mars goes retrograde on the 26th, which is kind of a little bit draining for everybody. Well, our energy is not so much on the surface. It may be, put it this way, if there's anything you want to transform in your home, move, redecorate, or anything to do with your family, do it before the 26th. Otherwise, it's going to take much longer. Uh, Mercury shifts signs on the 29th, and again, boom, you're back on track when it comes to your career. And those are the two main issues, stretching your boundaries and also focusing on your career, but seeing it with fresh eyes. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.